Hello everyone and welcome. This is Matt with MattsOnlineTraining.com. I just want to show you today exactly how to find uh, certain niches or niches, whatever you want to call them. And um, how I came about this one, I don't know if it's even going to be good yet. And I can dig deeper into the keyword and find different keywords. I just want to showcase every tool that I'm using today. And um, hopefully this helps you in, in your uh, quest for finding awesome keywords. Today, this is Market Samurai that I'm using today. And uh, I was in the IKEA magazine that got sent to my house and I found uh, shower curtains. So I said, all right, let me just type in shower curtains and see what happens. Well, these keywords show up and I click analyze and I set the thing for an exact match. That means people are searching this exact set of keywords, not in um, any different order. When it's exact, it's exactly these keywords and how many people are searching daily. Um, I set this thing uh, for a different, uh, let's see, the title competition and the title comp here. To make a long story short, I found funky shower curtains. 43 people a day are searching. They figure if you're on the number one, you'll get 18 views. That's not that many, but what the heck, for training purposes, I'm going to show you this. 8,460 people have it in the title. So that's not too many, but that is quite a lot if you don't know too much about SEO. I got this keyword blueprint tool as well. I set this thing with shower curtains, okay, and I set it for one hour. It's going to go into the internet for one complete whole hour and search all the keywords that have to do pertaining to shower curtains off of keywords, off of keywords, and it. I have it set now to only show the ones with the yellow star. Okay, I can show you the results later in an hour. I'll turn, I'll edit and come back. But uh, you can see bay window curtain poles. There's 145 people a day. It's got high value. It's even got a shop shop value and an estimated pay, uh, cost per click be one dollar and twelve cents. So that's another keyword tool that I use. I also have this tool right here. This niche traffic builder. I can put in funky shower curtains like I did here and it will show me I can filter things right here searches daily alright greater than or equal to that's what I did here and then competition 300,000 or less that's what I did less than or equal to and um, let's see here I can even go off of any of these keywords small bathroom ideas let me or, or bathroom renovation ideas I can click the word dig here and it'll process that as a brand new keyword and analyze keywords off of this one and now uh, I'll show you how this works as well because you can also see if the domain is available for that keyword so you can have the keyword in your domain in your title in your h1 tag within the first 90 characters and in the footer and uh, let me just click competition data it might not show nothing here because there's not too many but that's good it gets rid of all the junk ones now if I click domain right here, that this is not a good keyword because it's already taken. Let me just show you how this works. All these are no. So someone owns all of these domains. So this is not a keyword that I want to use. I can cl also click analyze. And then once you analyze it, it shows the top 10 results. So you can see if you can beat out the competition if it was a good keyword and I can show you how you can decipher if it is a good keyword or if it is not now the good thing with this you got nobody who has it in their domain title h tag or the description but you do have a page rank of five that you're competing with three of them at the top with like 14,000 links, okay, which it's hgtv.com. So you're going up against that as well. That's what makes this pretty much not a great keyword in my eyes because your competition is very powerful for bathroom renovation ideas. But what I can do is go back to this and see bay window curtain poles. So let me just type in that keyword and see what happens. Bay window curtain poles, fine related and we'll see what comes up together. I'm doing this all on the fly just for training purposes to show you how I go about getting my keywords or finding a niche to actually go. It comes up with all of these. All right. Let me click competition data. 
it's going to filter everything that's 300,000 or less. It comes up with these, right? Silent Gliss, this, Bay Window Treatments. Now, let me click the domain availability. None of these domains are really available, so I don't even touch them. I only go against or go with something, you know, that has a, has the domain, the .com available. Okay, let me see if I can go to some of my other keywords. Selected. This one has none that I've selected. So I go to keywords. This one has eight. These are some of the keywords that I found. There's 6,600 people a day searching for this. And the domain is available. So let me show you how I got this. Watch. this is my website that I built with that software you can do the keyword research you can find the niche you can do everything within the software not bad anybody clicks on any of these ads I get paid this is lightroom3 tutorial.com for a sample site so like I said it could start with an idea that you see in a magazine you put in a keyword you take it into this tool you let it run for an hour it'll find other keywords that are pretty important and then you can actually even throw it into Google if you like let me show you bay window curtain pole you're going up against 3660 people with it in the title and let's see here that's not too many You're only going up against 131,000 people on the planet. This is actually a really good niche bay window curtain pole. And I know this has to do with um, uh, Volkswagen bus parts. This is not bad at all. So that's how I find, and I might have found one. Let me see if this is even available. I, c I can't remember if it was. Copy. I'll go to GoDaddy. Search. And it is not available. Somebody already has baywindowcurtainpole.com. Let's check it out. You could tell someone just like me or you out there watching it created this because they got their Google ads right up in the top that they want people to click on it. All right. They built this. They probably even built it with the software. It looks like almost the same identical kind of website. Got the advertising right here. Not bad. Good job whoever did this. If uh, you didn't do it, I would have done it, but you beat me to it. So that's how you do keyword research. Good luck, everybody. If you need anything, give me a call. Check out my website, mattsonlinetraining.com.